League, and we are in the state of hockey. Ready to get wild. Both these. in this frame, one nothing to score. Peregrine's won the face off here in the offensive zone. Grabs it in his own end. Moves the puck to Cullen. Sends it over to Heatley. Lays the body. The Red Wings looking against the half wall. Here's a shot. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Iserman's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Well, he's really feeling the play from earlier on the shift, James, and now he's wincing on his way back to the bench. He's going to need some assistance here to get off the ice. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. He looks deep to Romatan. What a hit on the play! Oh, my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. Sends the pass down low. Let's it go! Oh, off the post! Detroit's been getting closer to the net and getting better. Trying to shake the defender! Stones him on the breakaway! and 
It's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off, but he gets his stick available and he executes. Minnesota's in control of this one so far, Cheryl, wouldn't you say, with a two-goal lead? Absolutely, James, and often you don't see this urgency until the end of the game, but they started with it, and as a result, they've got a two-goal lead. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Nice feed from the right wing. Moves it to the middle, and that doesn't connect. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, the bench gets such a boost when he scores, so that's such a timely stop by the goaltender. Doesn't allow any energy to be created. There's the whistle, offside is the call. Champion's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going, and when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Minnesota's capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. The Red Wings win the draw. Here they come up along the wing. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. And he slides it quickly. Right away! Oh, beautiful shoot on the play! And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender's so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Lidstrom's great at intercepting passes, guys. That's his quick pick zone ability, and it's how he disrupts his opponent's attack. Champions relied upon for taking face-offs. Guys, his quick draw zone ability means he can usually win possession off those puck drops. Now these are impact players. And they score! And what a counter punch they serve up! Wow, you said it, counter punch. You know the coach is gonna love this, this quick, timely response. When you look down your bench, you gotta know that there's personnel that can go out there and provide some energy for your team. They just did it. Even I could have scored off that unbelievable feed, James. He's just able to corral that pass and put it in the back of the net. Detroit's got themselves a goal back, and they're right into it once again. Well, it only takes one to reset the life for this team, and you can certainly see it as the bench erupted with that goal. Koibu's won the draw. Poked away at center ice. Moves it to the middle, and that's intercepted. The Red Wings pick up steam and are on the attack. Knocked away. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Koivu. Change up, change up. Detroit's got the puck now. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Quick shot! Scores! Two goals in right around a minute 40. And as quick as a hiccup, we are all tied here, Pounder. I'm not sure what's going on right now. I don't think there's a single goaltender in the league that's going to catch up to that shot, James. I mean, the puck just explodes off the stick. More than half the frame has been played here. We got a tie game. And they win that neutral zone draw. And it's a quick pass to Robotai. Gotta figure he knows about this next milestone. He's only one goal away. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Here in the late going to the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Red Wings win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Quick pass to Iserman. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that banks off a stick. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. And that pass attempt is deflected. The Red Wings gain control of the puck. Schultz moves the puck. Huge steal in his own end. Moves it on over to Clutterbuck. Solid hit on that play. Picked up along the wall by Hall. Schultz scoops it up here inside the defensive zone. With possession oh. along the wall. 
There's the whistle stopping the play. It'll allow him to get off the ice and get a much needed breather here. Schultz wasn't expecting that hit and as a result wasn't able to brace himself and he takes the brunt of it and it shows as he gets up. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. And now he moves it quickly to Johns. And that's knocked away. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. What a steal in his own end. And that's offside stopping the play. Here in the late goings of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. Detroit's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Red Wings have it now. Scoops up the puck here. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, what a stick save. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will, too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this. Schultz will not be returning to the lineup, James. We just received word, and he is definitely out. You know, this is tough to take because you look at this lineup, and it leaves a massive hole. It certainly does leave a massive hole, and now it's about roster manipulation in terms of trying to navigate this down the stretch for the coaching staff. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Iserman's won the face-off, and now let's see what they can do. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Rocks him on the play. That's a solid hit. Robitaille's moving it ahead. Here they come on the attack. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. There's another for the hit parade. Gets the puck over to Iserman. Quick pass over to Silverberg. Unable to reach that one. Through center along the wing. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Now a quick pass to Burns. And that goes off a body. Shot. And that's turned aside by Vernon. Lays into the body. Minnesota's gained possession. Oh, Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. And they win the face off and set up to go on the attack. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Taken along the wall by Clutterbuck. Handles the puck. Look at this attack. It's smothering here. The fans are loving it. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Burns. Moving into the attacking zone. Slides the puck down low. Moves it to Scandella. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Pokes it away in his own end. The Wild have possession along the boards. Levels him against the wall. They've got numbers here. Phenomenal save 
with the glove to knock it away. Uh, he's dialed in tonight, James. When the puck is on his stick, he is a magician. He goes east-west, he can go north-south, and most importantly, he creates his own space. He does take it to the net, but this time the goaltender makes the save. Still lots of time left in the period. It's all tied up. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Cullen and tries to make a diagonal pass to Heatley. Detroit's got control of it now from their own end. Cops stick handling in his own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick feed to Fabry. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Grabbed along the board by Pominville. Here's a short pass to Larkin. Minnesota's looking to break out. Dishes it to Heatley. Takes the feed. Moves the puck along the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Costas Bear. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. The Red Wings take it across the line. Gostas Bears got it in the defensive end. Hammers the shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Stops that one. Puck battle along the boards. Minnesota's got it behind the net. Quick pass to Michael. Sends it in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. They score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift, and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Detroit's got a one-goal lead after that goal here in period number two. Ron, I think they answered the call from the coaching staff that were just laying into them on the bench to be more assertive, more aggressive, and hold on to the puck. They answer the call, they get the lead. Locked them in the open ice. Wax into the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Passes on over to Niskanen. Lays the body into that play. And kept that one out of the net. Scrum and Zoos along the boards. Shot. And he takes it right in the logo. What a save. Well past the midway mark of this period. Detroit's got a one-goal lead. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Oh, no! Lock as it goes off the outside of the post. Minnesota's been working hard all game, a reason why they're still in it, and they had an opportunity to cut the deficit, but goes off the pipe and out. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Drills him! And he takes the dish. Rocked him! Here's a centering pass! And that's intercepted! And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And he shut the door on that last play. Moves it to Kane. And they'll skate it out of the zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Oh, monstrous hit in the corner there. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, a clutch save. Vernon dialed in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice.
Here in the later stages of this period, the Red Wings are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Redirected off a stick. Shanahan's lugging the puck. Oh, and the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. Oh, look out! Oh, what a collision into the boards. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Slides it quickly to Edmondson. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Centering a lead, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Minnesota's got to trust the process here in the third period, James. I mean, it looks like they bought into the game plan through the first 40 minutes, and often when you stick to it, it all works out. Now they're trailing by one, so they are going to have to... Oh, one with the goaltender. Oh, and I'm not really sure what happened there. It looks to me like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. Slides the pass over to Hull. Gives him a jolt with that hit. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Reaches out and uses the stick. From the right side and up the middle. There's a stop with the blocker by Vernon. Moves the puck down low. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Tosses it on to Colby. And he can't hang on after that hit. Johns is showing his never-say-die attitude, and it's the reason why he's a leader on this team, and everyone looks to him by example. Why that example is in front of the net with a stick on the puck, falling to the ice, last-ditch effort and attempt to get a scoring chance, and he does. Lots of time left in this period. Detroit's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Koivu's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Minnesota's got it into the offensive zone. Larkin. 
Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. The Red Wings will kill off a few extra seconds now. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Takes the feed from his own end. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. Scores! Putting the special and special teams, they take the lead. And often when you're on special teams, James, often can go either way in terms of the momentum. If you don't generate anything, it goes the other way. If you generate something, it's all in your favor. I'll tell you what, that was execution. Listen, James, when he works himself into position to set up for that one-timer, if you're his teammate, you just find him and you deliver it to him. Minnesota's got the lead here in this third period, but Cheryl, I can't imagine they're going to sit back with this lead now. Well, they can't get complacent, that's for sure. I mean, this has been too tight of a game with an opponent that's going to be chomping at the bit now with sense of urgency. they got to manage the puck like they've done all game. they got to drive the lanes, but most importantly, they've got to be defensively responsible. Vernon's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and Coach can get the right personnel out there. And off the draw, they win possession. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Quick feed to Fabry. Slides the puck across oh. to Shanahan. The Wild have taken control of the puck. Takes a hit on the play. Vernon's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's gonna get some much needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Minnesota's been total non-stop action on the offensive end, and they continue to lead in the third. Koivu's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Oh, talk about finishing your check. Wow. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Oh, he got rocked and ducked right into the opposition bench pounder. Uh -huh, you have the benches up, right? They want to see what the heck's going on. And on the other side, he's in the laps of his opponent. You got to collect yourself and get out of there. Centering pass in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. And he makes the save on that play. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look. And he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. More than half the period left to play. Minnesota's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. Stalls won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Feeds the puck across to Robitaille. Gaining steam here on the attack. Hammers a shot, and it goes off the iron and stays out. Paul's been all around the net. It's what he does best, but he hasn't found a way to cash in. This is extremely frustrating for himself and the team when you get these golden opportunities and you don't put it in. Oh, and look who gets rocked once again. Well, he's a target now, James, because he's got a lot of spatial awareness. You gotta keep your head up if you wanna play this game and be safe in it. Score! And they're cooking now! Uh, the opponent has no answer for them right now because they're relentless on the puck. They've garnered some momentum after multiple back-to-back -back goals, James. They don't want to leave any breathing room and let their opponent get some life back. Man, James, he's the benefactor of a great passing play. I mean, incredible vision to be able to land that puck right on his stick. But then he's got to do something with it, right? He's got to read where the goaltender is, and he's got to hit the back of the net. Minnesota's in the driver's seat now, up by two in this third period. Oh, yeah, and it's been a consistent effort from start to finish here, James. Now they got to make sure that they play this last little bit the same way they started. Aggressive on the puck, but be cautious when they need to. Sometimes the simple play is the effective one. And he's ridden off the puck. What a great read breaking up the pass. The Red Wings gain possession. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players scores! And a quick strike here puts them right back into this one. Well, the game opens up here now, James, as they're within one. And if they can continue this press, they can get the equalizer. you got to believe that they can do it right now as you feel the momentum shift. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for 
Warren, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Red Wings find exactly what they were looking for, a goal here late in the third. And this is why your big players, your star players, get paid the big bucks to deliver at the end of the game. And this is going to be a nail butter, James, as you can feel the energy on both sides. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Here's a short pass to Michael. Puts it on net, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Medano's crossed the line and gained the zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. From center, they get into the attacking area. Blocked in traffic. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there. Uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, he get nailed. He says, let's get physical on that play. Sends a pass over. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Quick pass to Champion. And here we go, Sharon. We're going to go. No one can take liberties with your star players. You have to protect them. And when you send an enforcer out there, you're sending a message not only to the team you're playing now, but the teams you're going to play in the future. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. The home side is going to gain a lot of adrenaline after that win. Frustration, physicality, and that fight says it all. Well, this game has new life breathed into this building tonight after what we just saw moments ago, but we still got a game to play. Koivu's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. Detroit's got the puck behind the net. Quick pass across to Hall. Intercepted the pass. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Across the line along the left wall. Moves it to Koivu. Big time stop. Setting up behind his own net now. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Made the stop on the play. Burns carries the puck in his own zone. Here's a chance. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. The Sharks are up next on the schedule, and I hear tickets are still available. A few select seats, so get them now. It should be a good one coming up. Who had the edge? Carl standing by with the answer. Champion's been noticeable tonight, guys, in particular with how he finished his chances. I'm giving him the edge here. The Red Wings will play it in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Medano. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. And he loses control here. Shafts the puck away. Looks to pass it to Johns. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. The Red Wings have it from their own end. And he takes the feed. Slides it diagonally to Larkin. The Red Wings have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. They've got the extra attacker out here for the faceoff. Well, they'll be looking for a quick win and advance that puck right to the net. has won the draw there on the attack. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Clutterbox gained the line and on the attack. Detroit's got possession of the puck. Oh, and he misfires on that with authority. He got all of that one. Cuts to the front. Fantastic save. Uses the boards with the bank pass. A shot at the empty net. Marker has hit the 4x6. Now you can see the body language 
unleash on them, James. The dying moments of the game, and they're able to get the empty net goal. Everyone can take a deep breath here, as that should do it. Minnesota's got time, and after that empty netter, uh, quite a significant lead on their side there. Yeah, James, it's all been over, isn't it? And that's a great play to be able to get that puck 200 feet down the ice when you're under pressure with the extra attacker. There it is, Bonnie. Here it sounds. We are all over here with this one. Love the effort. They were in this one right to the end, but unfortunately, it still gets away, and the losing streak continues. Ron, uh, this one hurts, right? You can taste it. You're so close to dig yourself out of this losing streak hole, but you find your way back into it. Tough games just don't get it done, James. They want the W. Well, that'll bring it into an exciting night of hockey, and for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.